In celebration of what would have been Armin Zildjian's 100th birthday, the Zildjian Company is so excited to release, for the first time ever, symbols from the Zildjian Family Vault. This first ever Family Vault release features 200 genuine vintage A symbols from Armin Zildjian's personal collection. These symbols have been handed down through generations of Zildjians, were cherished by Armin during his lifetime, and now can become part of your collection. These 1940s to 1950s era A's were crafted at the original Zildjian factory in Quincy, Massachusetts by a small team of dedicated craftsmen. They bear all the visual and sonic qualities of a well-loved vintage symbol, delivering that unmistakable early A sound that changed music forever. Included with each symbol is a pair of limited edition Armin Zildjian signature drumsticks in walnut stain with gold foil signature, a pair of gloves, a signed and numbered certificate of authenticity, and a book celebrating Armin Zildjian's life and legacy. All of this packed in a premium Calzone road case. I remember being a very, very young employee and walking by these bank vaults that were in the hallway in the factory every day and never really knowing what was inside until one day Armin Zildjian opened up these, these safes and inside were thousands of vintage symbols. And you can imagine being a young drummer, uh, how exciting that could be. I remember my grandfather, Armand, as an incredibly warm and funny person. Um, he was an amazing musician with a wicked sense of humor. Obviously being a musician and knowing the, the, the intricate process of um, symbol making made him a perfect conduit for artists. You know, he had a great relationship with all sorts of artists, all different kinds of drummers and all different kinds of people. Um, and I think that was his, his real calling was working with these people and bringing their sounds to life. We have uh, pictures throughout the factory of, of Armin Zildjian working with the drummers like Max Roach and, and Louis Belson. Uh, they weren't wearing gloves. So some of the fingerprints on here might actually be Armin Zildjian's fingerprints, but when you get these, these are, these are really a work, work of art. The difference between the manufacture of this symbol and modern day symbols is that the way that the, the symbol was trimmed after it had come out of the tempering tank. It's not, some of them aren't perfectly round. The way that the metal was shaped, uh, it would have been bumped into shape, into a very, very rough shape, then flipped upside down and hammered on the bottom side to bring the curvature up. Uh, the holes in these symbols are actually um, a lot smaller, as you can see. Some very, very old cutting tools that we still use today on some K Constantinopoles were used to lay these. And, it would, it would shave the metal and burnish it at the same time to give the thin symbol some, some stiffness so they weren't uh, uh, too loose and floppy. And they're really, really beautiful. You can hear the age in these symbols. You know, he was one of the first people to really start tinkering with the manufacturing process, all the lathing and hammering and really kind of coaxing these new sounds out of the metal. And he was very forward thinking about how he did that. You know, he wasn't afraid to embrace modern technology and really bring Zildjian and the manufacturing process into the 21st century. And I think he'd just be really proud of where we are today. Um, the commitment to innovation and the commitment to being the best symbol makers in the world. The Zildjian company and the Zildjian family are so excited to share this special piece of Armin's legacy with collectors around the world. This is a truly limited release with only 100 available in the United States and 100 available internationally. Visit Zildjian.com for more information.